All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start with a bag of uh, Laguna, and this this is a WC uh, four hundred one, which is a uh, it's called B mix. Basically, it's a stoneware. So a twenty five pound bag, fresh from Laguna. Okay. Now, when the clay comes, the water content is a little bit um, too low because you want interlayer adhesion as the, the end of the layer come around. So if the water content is, is uh, minimal, you, you might not get adhesion. That's number one. Number two, it's a little bit thick for the extruder. So you can see this is still somewhat hard. So this is perfect for throwing, but not ideal for our machines. So what we're going to do is just pull it back. It's a super simple process. Take a wire or anything straight, and we're going to cut it down. Into four rectangles. Okay, so you can see what, what I've done. Okay. It's still attached at the bottom. Okay. I'm going to take a microfiber cloth. I've actually cut this one down a little bit. You don't want too much. And I'm just going to take it and push it down the center, as far down as I can go, and a little bit to try to keep the sides. This You want to keep them all from actually closing up. You don't want them to make contact. All right, look good? Mm -hmm. Okay, super simple. Close it back up. Now, you can add approximately 10 to 15 ounces of water. Um, the example we have today, I think, is 15. I'm going to put 12. So just pour it down. That's it. Try to get most of the air out. Want me to grab the bucket? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's bring the bucket to the front. Yeah. Try to seal it up the best you can. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Can we see that? No, we cannot. So we'll probably have to bring the bucket up onto the table. And they can see about to right here, by the way. So this is right in the middle. Okay, bring the bucket up. Okay. Yeah, this is a, just a bucket of water, and we use this. Uh, the water in the bucket is actually not getting into the bag of clay. We're just using this bucket of water to kind of uh, constrict the walls like this, so the water in the bag is actually kind of pushed against the clay. Otherwise, the water um, accumulates at the bottom and just makes a mess at the bottom. Yeah. So because we have the magic of a video, we're going to pull this one out, Yeah. <laughs> which is finished. And this would sit in here, the water being absorbed into clay, it would just be in there two three days about? Yeah, it depends on temperatures. Um, let me say first, you want the water pretty much to be up to the top, but not to where it's going to get into the, uh, the bag. Into the bag, so. Oh, yeah, so it's uh, the water level's not, the water in the bucket is not going into the bag clay. It's just used to push the walls of um, the plastic so the water inside the bag can go up through all the clay. So this is one we started about... We're not going to just turn. Yeah. No. It, okay, it's just lagging. Okay. We're good. All right. So this is after three days. Sometimes it's, it's even less. Depends on the temperature, too. I think there's a lot of variables. So this is this is basically what we have. Most of the water has absorbed into the clay. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's much more supple than it was. I'm going to move the camera up here so we can get a better close-up shot of that. So let's move into this. See, it's, it's quite malleable. 
There we go. Perfect. All right. Okay, so now this clay's prepped, we are going to use our hand loader. So we're going to move the camera on over to our hand loader so we can show that process. So this is a hand loader that we have, here's the full shot of it, and it is mounted to our table here on a four by four piece of wood. You can also mount this to your wall. And what we're going to be doing is, is we're gonna be putting a tube uh, attached to the bottom with just a couple little pins that we have a little cool adapter so our tubes can go on a hand loader. Dennis, we didn't put the hmm? piston in. Are we going to just do it on the nozzle, or you want to put the piston in? Yeah, we actually need some back pressure. Uh, no, we don't. Let's, well, try, let's try it this way. We're going to just try it. So, so one of the cool little tricks you can do is you can actually put one of the pistons that go in the tube, and you could put it in, you know, upside down, and the clay pushes against it. So it kind of has something to really fill the tube very strongly. Uh, we already put the nozzle on the end of the tube. We could grab a different tube. Let's try this. Okay, okay we're here. just going to try this. Get, get a photo of Li the... Live stream. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... No, no, I'll come over there. It's okay. Okay, so Dan is just pulling off one of the clay chunks there, so... So here's one of the rectangles. Here. I'm probably... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm probably just going to okay. flatten it out a little bit. I wish I had a place to work. Yeah, yeah. We did not put down any. <laughs> we did not put down any plastic wrap on the table. We're just, we're just going for it. <laughs> okay, so you basically want a chunk. Okay, so that was that was pretty decent. And you're gonna put in a second one, sure. So there's the rectangles. What they look like when they come out. It's just a little bit wet. I think 15 ounces is a little bit much. This batch of clay. Okay. Now we're going to be using a little brand attachment that comes with the hand loader. Plunger. Plunger, yes. Naming. There we go. Now, because this is uh, factory prepared clay, there's not going to there's going to be virtually no air in the uh, in the clay itself. The clay. Maybe need another wedge. I think that's good. Huh? Yeah. Good. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, we can just run the prime program. That's it. Get this out. Okay. So I'll show that tube in just a moment. And and uh, we're going to be changing it onto one of our extruders that needs to be changed. So this is relatively easy to get off. You just pull the pins out and you slide the tube off. There you go.